Hey everybody, this is Laddie the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Uh, between episodes, I did my uh, between world level grinding. At first, I did it in Olympus Coliseum. But once I got my second Mega Flare, I did some special setting up and did the rest of it in the Radiant Garden Reactor. So today, we're going to be heading to the next world, which is Deep Space. Sure, let's kill them all. Why not? Maximum HP increased, all right. Yes, Grand Councilwoman. I've confined him until we can determine what he is. Take cover. Leave it to me to handle these fiends. Whatever you are, you're under arrest. Eventually. First. I'll give you a fight. Oh yeah, between episodes while I was doing my grinding, I also got Dark Star 2. I also got Explosion, but that's not along the main path, so I don't care. <laughs> oh, more tank toppers, yay! Oh, this guy! This guy is called a Sonic Blaster. Uh, he has two forms that he can freely switch between. One form is like that little scorpion-looking floaty thing that shoots a laser out of its tail, and another one has the look of a radar that will shine like a red light on you. Um, it act, the red light acts like a shot lock. If you stay in it too long, it'll switch forms and fire a bunch of lasers depending on how many lock-ons it managed to get. Very impressive display. Very impressive vitality. Constructive species of all time. Why, my experiment could annihilate. 
solid creatures. You fought so hard. He is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his rather diminutive size. And for reasons preposterous, the Federation Council fears him. They take him away from me and throw me here in small, stuffy, rather badly lit cell. Because he's so powerful? Exactly. Everyone always gets antsy advances when somebody more powerful is in the neighborhood. You understand, perhaps? We must make to rescue him or he'll be banished to far reaches of space. Okay, then. Take me to him. Experiment 626. His name I give to adorable fluffy creature you are helping for to rescue. And I am genius scientist who created him, Dr. Jumbo Jukima. I'm Terra. Pleasure is all ours. 626 is this way. Hurry! Hmm. I'm gonna look around in here first. I don't know how much of the treasure I'll actually be able to get without high jump, but I will try. So much for getting that, I think. Oh, there we go. No! Oh, well, it's just an empty cell. Great, wasted my time for nothing. It opens that. You know what? Forget it. I'll come back here on my own time if I feel so inclined. Just... mentioned what these guys are. These little jellyfish looking things are called jelly shades. They're insanely weak, so you can kill them in about one or two hits. Not too difficult. One thing about jelly shades though is that they tend to appear in large groups. Hmm. Looks like we're going out through the exterior of the ship. Glide winders. The right way? No, that's not right. Dang it. Those little spinny things got me all mixed up. Alright, I showed this off in Ventus's playthrough. This thing's called a glob mob. It kind of acts like a slime from Minecraft. Every time you 
uh, defeat one of its forms, it splits up into a smaller form, or multiple smaller forms. Interestingly enough, this enemy was originally intended to be a boss. As such, it still has an ins a really good experience payout. Although I still think it's funny that uh, a tiny little thing like that can knock you off your feet. And then again, it is shooting spikes at you. Uh, it, it is giving you spikes. So, yeah. Alright, we're about 12 minutes in, so yeah, I'm just going to go in here, save, and I'll continue in the next episode. Alright, I'll see you guys later.